My name is Helen Weathers and um, I'm 55 years old and I've lived here in Layton since I was four years old. And um, I came to work here and I've owned the beauty shop since 1977. My first working day was June the 13th, 1977, and I've been here ever since. When I was a little kid, there was more businesses here than there are now. We had uh, gas stations, mechanics, um, a couple, three grocery stores. Um, we, the hardware store, doctor, uh, I was trying to think, um, just, and one by one they've just all, you know, left, gone. There used to be a, a hardware store right by Jimmy Gong's store, it was right next door there. When I was a kid, it was like an all-around general store, and um, a lot of the farmers and dairy people, they could buy rubber boots for work, you could go in there and buy wedding gifts. Um, it was like a, a mini Mervyn's almost, you know. <laughs> you could even buy fabric for sewing notions, dishes. Hey, and so you didn't, we didn't have to go to town. See, and we lost all of those little things. My business here, uh, I'm gonna say probably 80 to 85% of my customers are from out of town. And um, the rest of them are from here. It was the only beauty shop in the whole surrounding area. So back then they either had to go to Hanford and get their hair done. And back then, you know, they got their hair done once a week, you know, teased up. So they all came, it was like all the farmer's wives, the dairy people, they're, those kind of people are the ones that patronized this business, but they weren't like from in town. They, they lived in the surrounding areas. So the nearest beauty shop was like, Either you go to Selma, Kingsburg, or Carruthers, or Riverdale, or Hanford. So it was convenient for them. You know, now you got, you know, all these walk-in places and the, all the malls have lots of shops. So the younger kids don't come here, they go over there. Are you afraid, I mean, you know, there's all this talk about Main Street, Wall Street. No, I'm not, because um, I- You're not what? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Uh, because I've I've been I've had hard times or other years uh, when the businesses were bad and the economy was bad and my husband worked you know his job was down to you know it was bad but we made it through when the farmers or the dairy people have bad years we have bad years because their wives then don't spend as much money here with me anymore they space they still come you know and patronize me but they um, don't spend as much money because things are tight for them, so they just don't spend that much. But because they're loyal customers, they still come here. And then when they have good years, well, I have a good year too. The man from the hardware store, he would always tell me, he says, you know, Helen, you have the best business in town because we were always busy. You know, we always, we're always busy, but otherwise than that, I mean, I've, I've been real happy here. There's some days that I, I just know I'm going to have a really good bunch of people coming in and I tell Lucy, ooh, guess so-and-so's coming in, oh. or I think, what happened last week? I hope she tells us what happened. And then I think, oh, I, we better, uh, I hope nobody's here so she can tell us everything, you know. But uh, we've been here so long that some of our customers are like really dear friends to us, you know. Uh, we go to church with some of them and uh, we go visit them at the hospitals, stay with them. I go to their homes when they're sick. Uh, and that's how close we've gotten to some of them. But what we really like is like sometimes we have customers that come in and maybe they were, uh, uh, it, it might have been one of Lucy's uh, classmates and then maybe another one, maybe she was a grade or two or two or three years above us or below us. And we just happened to all be here at the same time. Oh my God, it's, do we have so much fun? And we don't want them to leave and they don't want to leave. And then their kids start calling them or they're like, you're still there? Yeah. And then a couple of them, they're like, I know when you go to Helen's, you're going to be there at least two hours or three. But it's just, we just have, we just laugh and laugh and laugh. 
and remember like stuff about school or then we catch up on have you seen so-and-so did you see what she looked like or you know oh, oh so-and-so's got a divorce I wonder why or you know just but it's just because we've known them since we were like 10 years old grammar school one particular customer that Lucy and I we just love her her name is Dorothy Vieira she is um, one of the most it almost makes me cry. Well, it does. She's probably one of the most gracious ladies you will ever meet. She is so beautiful. She's 82, huh? Mm -hmm. And she's just, she's just really, really nice. She's just so good to us, but she says that we're good to her. But sometimes, like, Lucy will go to the same mass that she's at, and she always wants Lucy to sit with her, and then we go to dinner afterwards with her, and... She's just, I don't know, just a grand lady. Dr. Beeler delivered Lucy. <laughs> He's been, he was here, oh, since the 40s. And um, he was a really good doctor, great doctor. And if you wanted somebody to interview, that would have been the guy. And uh, he, um, he used to still make house calls if you can believe that. Jimmy Gong. Yeah, he, um, when I was in grammar school, his uncle owned the store. It wasn't his dad. And um, he has some cousins. They're probably around my age. And I think they, they moved away, must have been in the late 60s. And then Jimmy and his family came. And uh, his dad ran the store. And I've known Jimmy like all my life, you know. And uh, and his dad being, he was in the store all the time, reading, he always read the Chinese newspaper. That's what you could see him when you walked in. And what about Manny? When did he buy that building? I mean, that, when did he get the business? Uh, I want to say about six, seven, maybe eight years ago. So, but I've known him since he was a little kid, too, when they first came here. See, that place has been a restaurant ever since I was, I could remember. And um, there was, it used to be called the Seven G's, and they served American food. It was a coffee shop. And all the local farmers were there every morning for coffee from 6 to 10, just BSing there. And they had really good food. And then the guy that owned it, I think he, he closed it because he, he got a job at Fresno Pacific because he wanted benefits. And he was having heart trouble, so he let it go. And then we had a couple other owners in between, but they they just didn't, you know, stay long enough to really make a go of it. And so then Manuel decided to give it a try, and he did. And, uh, you know, I think it's been okay for him, so. It would be nice if we had a few more businesses, you know. Uh, I'm not saying like a mall or anything like that, but just, you know, a nice little grocery store or just things so we don't have to, like, run to town. And, uh, you know, it, were, it would be a community that people desired to live in. That's what I think would be nice. Instead of thinking, ooh, you live in Layton. That kind of attitude. Who has that attitude? A lot of people. Um, well, okay, when you come in from that side of town, have you seen that house? Oh, you guys probably haven't. Right there by the river, it's all boarded up. It used to be a nice home. It's right across from the, okay. So then if you come in from this side of town, the houses are really right there on Fowler. They're pretty, some of them have got fixed up now. But nobody even knows that if you go on that, you know, this way to, uh, east on Murphy, I don't know if you've ever, there's nice areas over there. So people that, they always say, oh, you live in Layton? I say, yeah, and they go, ooh. I go, well, what do you say that for? They go, well, there's nothing there. But see, that, that's the, the opinion they have of Layton, but they don't know, you know, anything else exists. They just look at those crappy homes that are all ugly and no yard, and that's what they look at, and they think, and they don't even know there's a school here or, or in a community. Well, I just like it here because everybody knows me, and I know them. When my husband died, the town, they were just very, very good to me. I mean, I just couldn't believe the response. And I think 
it, I kind of wanted to move to closer to my family. They live in Kingsburg, but I thought, what if I don't get good neighbors like I have now? They've, they've lived, I've lived in my home for 25 years, and they've been there 30, 40 years. So, I mean, why would I move away?